But if you wanted to actually try to outperform Bitcoin, like MicroStrategies outperform Bitcoin, our performance over the course of the three years is higher than Bitcoin performance. So if you want to outperform Bitcoin or outperform the spot ETF, you would do that by... What's up, crypto family? Welcome back to the channel. Aaron here coming back at you with another cryptocurrency video today. In today's clip, we're going to be checking out Michael Saylor. He's talking about how you can actually outperform Bitcoin, why MicroStrategy could actually be a better investment than BTC. He explains some very interesting things in today's video. Definitely learned a lot from his recent interview from Michael Saylor. Wanted to share it with you guys. This is definitely a must watch. Watch it to the end and let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. Will you be investing in MicroStrategy? Do you think MicroStrategy will outperform Bitcoin? in the long run. Let me know what you guys think about all that in the comment section below. And if you are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have new videos coming out every single day. Let's go ahead and play the clip. So MicroStrategy is not that. MicroStrategy, you could think of as um, a levered long uh, Bitcoin company that pays you a yield. Okay, so I, I'm not going to call us an ETF, but because we're not, we're not a financial company, but we have... Um, $4.4 billion plus of Bitcoin and $2 billion plus of debt. So what we've done is we've levered the balance sheet with debt that costs us about 1.5% interest. Wow. So MicroStrategy takes advantage of its position as an operating company to do something that an ETF can't do. An ETF uh, can't issue junk bonds. An ETF can't issue convertible bonds. An ETF can't do uh, like an ATM like we could do, and an ETF can't buy Bitcoin with cash flows. So we have a lot of flexibility as an operating company, and we don't charge that fee. So we have $4.5 billion of Bitcoin, but we don't charge $45 million a year. The, the real idea here is, what if I created uh, an investment vehicle that paid you a yield instead of charging you a fee and what if i was able to borrow money at one and a half percent interest what i i bought a i borrowed a billion dollars at zero percent interest and bought bitcoin with it let me let me give you a theoretical if you get a two percent yield instead of paying a one percent fee it's 60 percent difference over the lifetime of your asset so right so if you have, if you have a billion dollars invested and you're getting a two percent yield Right. You're actually picking up uh, 20 million dollars a year. Right. Instead of paying 10 million a year. So so uh, the dynamic of the company is very important. So you can imagine that if I can uh, if I don't charge you a fee and if I have cheap leverage, then the, the stock, the benefit accrues to the common stock shareholders. Right, because they got, I went and I borrowed $2.2 .2 billion at one and a half percent interest and I bought Bitcoin with it. So what's the, what's the logical theoretical yield of Bitcoin? Is it more than one and a half percent a year? If it was 15% a year, then we're scraping 14% positive real yield off of the debt. And so that would be 14% of a billion or, or, uh, dollars or more, actually 14% of $2.2 .2 So dollars. That would be $300 million a year that accrues to the benefit of the common stock shareholders. You see, this is the benefit of being an operating company. We can every quarter, we can choose what to do. So some quarters we would issue junk bonds. Other quarters we would issue convertible bonds. Other quarters we would sell the equity. Other quarters we would just use our own cash. So the answer is there's always going to be a good market. And there's always going to be a bad market, right? There, there's, there are things you shouldn't do and there are things you should do. Mm. So MicroStrategy, uh, to make a long story short, is a bit more complicated than a spot ETF, right? If you want something plain vanilla and simple that it should basically correlate one to one with Bitcoin after you pay the fee, then you buy a spot ETF. But if you wanted to actually try to outperform Bitcoin... Like MicroStrategies outperform Bitcoin. Our performance over the course of the three years is higher than Bitcoin performance. So if you want to outperform Bitcoin or outperform the spot ETF, you would do that by, uh, by accretive financings, 
Like, for example, if our stock trades at a 30% premium to the underlying assets, and we sell a billion dollars of equity, we actually capture $300 million of accretion to our shareholders, you see. Okay. Year to date, MicroStrategy's uh, up 145% and Bitcoin is up 55%. So, and over the course of a year, one, in one year, Bitcoin's up 34% and we're up 63%. So uh, there are different time periods. If I, um, you know, and I could run them all out, um, but, um, and I do, I occasionally, I post all the time on this. So um, we generate cash flow and we use that to either buy Bitcoin or we use that uh, to pay interest on debt that we borrow to buy Bitcoin, right? So that's one thing we do. And then the other thing we, we have is called the macro strategy. And the macro strategy is we buy Bitcoin and then we issue securities to buy more Bitcoin and we can issue uh, debt we can issue uh, senior debt, convertible debt. We did a Bitcoin back loan with Silvergate. Uh, we can issue equity. So we, we're a publicly traded company. And the thing that's positive, uh, the benefit of a publicly traded company is, is you're able to issue securities because you've already got a registration statement. We're always filing our 10 Qs, our 10 Ks, et cetera. So the, the most trustworthy counterparties in the capital markets are generally publicly traded companies, especially American publicly traded companies. I would say that we're, we're the primary, maybe the only company in NASDAQ that has the ability to issue securities to buy Bitcoin. Yeah, because it, we've spent three years building credibility with our shareholders. If you think about what we did to build our, uh, our company, First, we had to do a Dutch auction. So we, we basically agreed to buy back $250 million of our stock so we could buy Bitcoin. That was the first transaction. The sec, you know, then we bought Bitcoin. That was the second transaction. Then we had $175 million of extra cash after the Dutch auction because the shareholders didn't want to be bought out. They actually wanted to go along for the ride. So then we bought more Bitcoin. Then um, we issued that convertible bond. So that was like the fourth transaction. Then we issued another convertible bond, the billion dollar bond is 0% interest. That's the fifth transaction. Then we actually issued the senior secured debt, the junk bond for 500 million. That was the sixth transaction. Then we did a billion dollar equity issuance, a billion dollars, seven transaction. Then we did this, I don't know, someplace we did the Silvergate loan. I don't, yeah, don't, don't yeah, hold yeah. me to it. I don't get them all right. That's an eighth transaction. Then we did another ATM, a ninth transaction. You know, so we did um, a dozen different transactions and we built our shareholder base and we actually built credibility with the bond market, right? So on Wall Street, the bond investors have to trust you. The equity investors have to trust you. And it takes a while for people to understand your strategy, right? When we first started, they weren't sure, are you going to buy, are you going to trade the Bitcoin? Are you going to hold it? Are you going to buy anything else with it? So it took us a while to establish uh, credibility with Wall Street. But today, we're, we're the one operating company that has a Bitcoin strategy that has the credibility and the track record of being able to issue securities to buy more Bitcoin. And much, it's very important to be transparent because if you're not transparent, if people don't know what you're going to do, then they're not gonna support you. And thank you guys for watching all the way to the end of the video. Like I said earlier, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you gonna be investing in MicroStrategy? Do you think MicroStrategy will continue to outperform Bitcoin in the future? Let me know guys. But thank you for watching. Like always, my name is Aaron from the Bitcoin Bros. I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.